Hello, I'm Dwayne from Chatting Local, and I've asked David back from Invent Tribe to talk about taking a product from concept to the market. Thanks, David, for showing up. Of course, Dwayne. Thank you so much for having me back. Appreciate it. When we talked the other day, we talked about the five phases that, that you walk a customer through. Let's talk about licensing here for a minute. You're working them through. What's the difference between them doing it themselves and going through a licensing deal? Can you kind of give us a little insight on that? So a lot of times I really do recommend the inventors going through it themselves. Um, because one thing, one thing that I found with working with inventors for a decade plus is nobody cares more about your idea than you do. And, you know, that's, that's just the case. I mean, even with myself, my products, like I care more about it when it gets started than anybody else will. And so I tell everybody, you know, do this yourself. And so I tell inventors, this process is truly simple. It's just executing those individual steps so that you can have the power, right? That's so empowering to be able to say, I've got an idea and I know the process to bring it to market and generate my own royalty stream. So first I tell inventors, try to learn the process yourself. If you can't, then, then you wanna reach out to somebody else to take your idea to the next level. What happens in that phase that you're going through that process and before the ink is even dry, competitors have entered the market. You know, in, innovation's obviously always happening, right? In, in competition, in other markets. Um, I, I've had deals get pulled apart because something came out on Kickstarter, right? I had a contract that was basically like about to get signed that week. Something comes out on Kickstarter that uh, was not direct competition, but it was like the exact same product. And that deal fell apart. And so there are times when, you know, deals can fall apart because of reasons outside of your power I haven't had it actually happen to any of my students, just to myself. And, um, and it's actually happened to me twice, which is crazy that, you know, I, I, I've had 160, 164 successful students now that have signed licensing deals. And it's never happened to any of them, but me, it's happened twice. And so it, it does, but like that, that, that shouldn't discourage a single inventor. Like get out there, get your product in and get it licensed because most of the time you sign that deal, your product will launch in about nine months after that. And your royalty checks then start uh, the quarter following. Talking with some friends of ours this morning about their product and for the sake that the deal is still being worked on through you, we won't use any names. Okay. Um, but you're working with them at getting them into some big box stores. Yes. Um, and, you know, that process started back in November, December of 2019. Things yep. were rolling along and all of a sudden COVID-19 happened. Walk us through what that looks like and, and, and what their plan is in the future. Well, and, and it's not only them. I have other clients that are in similar position. So, and I can use kind of a, a general sense of what, what's going on here for everybody, is that this is a company that manufactures and sells products, and they, they do it online. They do it through a couple different retailers, but they want to be bigger, right? And uh, a lot of big box stores won't take on a smaller company. And so what, what I do with this customer that... Uh, Dwayne and I know, and also other customers, is I then take their product to bigger companies, you know, the companies that distribute very strongly in the Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, Target, and I take their product and put it underneath their umbrella. And now they're going into 1,700 Lowe's stores. We're having a presentation with Walmart here next month and might add 5,400 stores. So in total, with Walmart, uh, Lowe's and a couple of other stores will get close to 8,000 stores that they will be supplying plus their online revenue. So through your business, Invent Tribe, you are kind of negotiating. Like I said in the first video, uh, when we first talked, you know, that, that you negotiate with people, you set yep. up these deals, you know how to read contracts. Um, and in their case, this has not been an easy road. Is there anything that you'd like to to leave the viewers with? I was a waiter, right? I waited tables. Uh, I, I'm not an engineer. I'm not a designer. I don't have any special skills. 
and I waited tables and I had a dream and I wanted to make royalties from my inventions, right? I had a product ideas. A lot of people have all these product ideas, but they never do anything about it. And I chose that I was going to go and take action. And I took action and yes, it, it took me a couple of years of, you know, part time or kind of a, you know, an hour or two a week of working on things, but I finally started generating royalties and my ideas are out there. You know, it's a different lifestyle right now and use this as a launch pad to change what's going on in your life, to take your ideas and make them a reality because, you know, it, it changes you, right? I now have the confidence. I was, I was waiting tables. I didn't have that much confidence. Now I know I can think of an idea and go send it to somebody and generate royalties. And so it's, it's not only a confidence builder, it's also changes your financial world, right? If you're getting royalty checks every month and you know, that's, that's a big changer for a lot of people. I guess let's talk soon. Let's see how these deals go. And maybe we can have a, another time where we can talk about some success stories. That'd be awesome. That'd be very, very fun. I'd love to come back. Well, thank you for your time. Remember, you have an idea. David's the guy to call. Remember to buy and shop locally.